I don't remember the first time I surfed, but I remember being in the ocean with my father. And that's probably the first time I felt the waves kind of crashing on me. Going out to the ocean, you're kind of all the same. No matter who you are, the ocean unites us. Surfing in my life was a gift given to me by my father, who was given to him by his father, and back to the first surfer thousands of years ago here in Hawaii. My name is Cliff Kopono. I'm a professional surfer, scientist, and journalist, and I'm from Hilo, Hawaii. When I grew up, it was just kind of an understanding. We knew that we are just as much a part as the ocean as the turtle. We're just as much a part of the forest as the bird. There wasn't really molecules or chemicals or biology or physics that described that relationship. The more I started to think about how do we describe this relationship between humans and their environment, science just became this natural way of expressing that. It was a medium to describe a feeling that I've always had and was taught in my heritage. I wanted to be able to have a feeling of why a wave crashes on the shore, but I wanted to also be able to describe it in terms of vectors and energy exchange. So the coral research that I'm doing here at the University of Hawaii at Hilo really looks to understand how to use next generation analytical tools to investigate the health of the reef. We're taking photographs and we're stitching them together to make three-dimensional models to see how coral reefs grow or die over time. All the research that I'm a part of now is really trying to understand how humans interact with their environment. And I think we need to really understand that we cannot live in a world in isolation of the ocean no matter where you live. No matter how far from the coast you live, you can't escape the fact that you depend on the ocean. At the end of the day, after all the number crunching and the analysis and the field work, I can sit down and really ask myself, am I gonna keep changing nature because of my behavior? Or am I gonna start changing my behavior around nature? And I feel it's now our responsibility as people from this place to be an example to show how do we give back to the place which gives us so much. When we protect the turtle or the trees or the birds, we're ultimately improving our quality of life and extending that life. If I can do that, then I'll feel a sense of purpose and worth to my people and my home. When we say we are Hawaiian, in the Hawaiian language, we say hey Hawaii yo, which translates to I am Hawaii. We don't separate the person from the place. That's something that I'm very proud of, is that without Hawaii, I don't exist. And without me, neither does Hawaii.